Hello, today we're going to make this beautiful blue lace agate ring and I thought two stones are better than one. So let's get started. Cut one length of 40 centimeters long, one millimeter wide copper wire and wrap five times around your ring mandrel at the size you need. Overlapping tails at the end opposite each other. Take one tail across all five wires and wrap it around the entire band. It will go around, one, say, two, three times and secure it neatly. Then the other tail is wrapped halfway around the ring band on the opposite side, again around and around all five wires and neatly finished off with no snags. You want to wrap these neatly, the wires lie next to each other, and you're going to finish it off nice and tightly with the wires squeezed together so it's a nice finish, and leaving a little bit of a tail because that will be used right at the end for decoration. So don't worry about using up all of that wire, just do a few wraps around to secure the band on each side. So there's quite a gap between those two wraps and don't worry about it, we're going to make use of it and it will all be fine. At this stage you can just put it back on your ring mandrel and make sure it's all in shape and that the band is nice and round. Now we are going to open up the wires within that gap, taking your pliers to the middle of the gap and gently pull the wires outwards. So you're pulling two wires outwards and turn it around to the other side and do the same, pulling the wires outwards and leaving one in the middle. The one in the middle, the middle wire, is going to be bent in a nice little M shape. And you'll see how the stones fit through that gap later on and it makes an interesting feature. The M shape is just made by putting your needle nose pliers into the middle and giving it a little kink one way and then a little kink the other way. That makes this pretty little groove shape. Now your outer wires could stay rounded. That's up to you, but I have put the pliers into that outer middle and given a little kink to each one which I like, it makes almost a little petal shape. But that's just my preference. You can shape it any way you want to. Or at this stage, you could even wrap that outer wire or weave the two outer wires. That would also look really good. I always give you a basic shape, and then I'd be really happy to see your variations on these designs. Now we take an 8 cm length of copper wire and thread our beads onto that wire. Fit it in across your ring top and you'll see how the wire fits nicely into that M shape, the little valley between the two. And the beads sit on either side of it. Holding it all firmly together, Bend your end wires around and underneath the setting to fit them into that very pretty little top setting of your ring. Go to both sides and tidy up. Tuck those wires in and around on either side. So to repeat, you've put your wire across with its beads loaded on. You've held it nice and firmly. And each tail on either side is bent around the wires on either side to secure it. And then you're going to take the tails of each of those and curl it into a pretty little curl on top of the wrap to finish off the look. Squeeze those little curls down nice and tightly because you don't want any little pieces sticking up out of the ring shape. It's, it always has to be a unit. You're making a whole unit of pretty little details which all come together to make a ring. 
Now we go back to those tails that were the first wraps that you did to hold all the bands together. And one on each side has a tail. Take that tail and I have hammered it flat with a curl just to give a bit of texture. I have curled them, made a little curl and just snugged it up next to the stone on either side. But here again, you can use your imagination and your artistic ability. There is a lot you could do with this design. You could have added on some extra beads or a coil onto these little tails and made a whole different decoration that is unique to your design. There is also the option of, if you want to make the ring bigger, you would cut a 50 or 60 centimeter length of wire to start with, or you could use the extra length in having longer tails after the wrapping. And with those longer tails, you could do so much with coiling and wrapping and weaving and make quite a decorative curly top around your stones. Here I'm just doing the other, the other curl on the other side of the ring and again hammering the curl flat, giving a bit of texture, giving a bit of shine. You can chop it a bit with the other end of the sharper end of your hammer and make a few little dents. Play around, it's quite okay. And then curl it up and fit it in against the stone. I try to keep these tutorials and the techniques quite clear of too much um, fiddly stuff, just to show you the basic shape. And then from there, I would be really happy to hear from all of you how you have changed this design to suit your tastes and to add maybe more to it. I'd love to hear from you. Making jewellery is such an ongoing process of learning. I never stop learning and I never cease to have that absolute curiosity into how something would look or trying it out and checking a design. That's why experimenting with wire wrapping and jewellery is so much fun. I do hope you have enjoyed making this ring and please let me know how yours turns out. I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and you will then see all my future videos that I love to make. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.